If you've been finding yourself going a bit mad while stuck at home, then you need to watch this video. I'm gonna show you a tried and tested method for not going stir crazy. And to illustrate this, I've taken a bit of a hike. So a couple years ago, I saw a list of the steepest residential streets in the world. And I realized that one of them is actually right here in my neighborhood. Eldred Street in Highland Park is so steep that they can't even get up it with certain vehicles. You have to get special garbage trucks just to take out the trash. And so I made a mental note to come check it out sometime. And then a couple years passed and I never did. It's a funny thing, so many of us have so much freedom that we never take advantage of. In fact, if you were to see a map with GPS tracking of where you go every day, you might be amazed at just how many options you have and how few places you actually go. So what does this have to do about not going stir crazy? Well, first ask yourself this, when in your life did you feel the least stir crazy? If you're like most people, it was when you were on vacation, and specifically when you went somewhere that was completely different. Your surroundings were different, the food was different, you were meeting new people, and your entire day was filled with novelty. And that's what you're missing when you're going stir crazy. It's not just the fresh air, it's not just being outside. You can take walks every day, but if you keep walking the same route and you come back inside and do the same activities, then your brain is gonna be craving novelty and variety. And the thing is that even if you're stuck working at home or if your city is still under lockdown during a pandemic, you still have a lot of opportunities to experience new things throughout the day. Eldred Street here was a perfect example. It was waiting here for years for me to come and explore it. And all it took was that extra 30 seconds for me to look it up on a map and decide to come here and check it out. And there's a lot of things like that, these little activities throughout your day, where if you just take that little bit of extra effort, you can create these new experiences for yourself and keep your mind healthy. So here are eight very effective ways to do just that. Number one, walk somewhere new every day. This is the example I already mentioned. It doesn't have to be a tourist attraction or somewhere mind blowing. It can just be going for a walk or a run with a different route. Um, find a new street or an interesting tree or a new animal to say hi to. I actually make a point that when I go for a run, I always go a different route if I can. It just keeps your mind more healthy. Number two, try some new media. Routines can be comforting, but if you're feeling stir crazy, sitting at home and watching reruns of The Office for the 10th time isn't really doing your brain any favors. Take just that few extra minutes and look up something new to watch or look up new music to listen to and so on. And on that note, try a different medium to unwind. For example, if you're mostly a reader, try playing a video game. Or if you usually watch TV shows in your downtime, try reading a graphic novel. Different mediums will stimulate your brain in different ways, so switching up how you spend your downtime can actually help your brain to feel much more refreshed at the end of the day. If you need recommendations on something to read, check out Goodreads or Spotify and Pandora for new musical artists. As for games, aim for something immersive. Games with well-rendered environments or cinematic storytelling can help trick your brain into thinking that you're actually somewhere new. Number four, wear different clothes. This one might sound odd, but it actually works. You've probably got something in your closet that you never wear, but it makes you feel different when you wear it. Now is the perfect time to bust it out. Hell, wear a Halloween costume. It doesn't matter, we're on lockdown, who cares? And if you're asking yourself, is wearing a different outfit actually going to prevent me from going stir crazy? The answer is probably not and walking a different route tomorrow is probably not gonna do that either. But if you do those things and a dozen other small little things, it actually will make a world of difference. Be proactive about it and it can mean the difference between a healthy mind and going all Jack Nicholson in The Shining. Continuing, try a new skill or hobby. One of the absolute best ways to beat the onset of stir crazy is just to get out for an activity like intramural sports or a dance class. But even if those things aren't an option right now, maybe because you're stuck in lockdown during a quarantine, there's actually still a wealth of virtual tours and classes that you can experience right from your home. Airbnb is actually fantastic for this. Their online experiences are done through Zoom and without leaving your house, you can be learning Irish dancing from a busker in Galway or learning the art of salsa making from a chef in Mexico City. If this interests you, my friend Lauren actually recently wrote an article on her travel blog all about an entire week of these online experiences. I'll link it below. There's also a million options for hobbies that you can do from home if you just set your mind to it. Pick up a new musical instrument, learn to paint. Another great one is arrow gardening. If you start today, then in a couple weeks, you'll already have fresh herbs for your cooking. And that brings me to my next suggestion, which is to try cooking something new, especially something with wildly different flavors than you're used to. Smell and taste trigger our brains in different ways than other senses. So if you're cooking something new, it can just shift your brain into different territory. Obviously there's a million sites online with recipes, but if you wanna make it easy on yourself, there's also services like Blue Apron, where you can pick items off a menu and they will send you exactly the ingredients you need to cook it yourself or you can just order in and pick something that you've never tried. Number seven, work or unwind in a different area of your home. 
This is another simple one that can actually have a big impact. A simple change in your surroundings can put your mind in a different space, even if it's just a different chair or room than you usually use. You can also just mix up your furniture arrangement to make the same room feel new or different. Number eight, talk to a variety of your friends. You've probably got friends that you've been meaning to catch up with or family members you've been meaning to check in on. Now's a great time to do that. Simply the novelty of speaking with different people can add interest to your day. And it's just a great way to connect with people anyways. And if you haven't noticed, most of the things that I'm recommending, they're actually enjoyable. It's fun to listen to new music and it's fun to explore somewhere new. None of these are tedious chores, but they're all things that if we're left to our own devices, we're unlikely to do most of them. Humans are creatures of habit and it's just so much easier when you're busy or you're stressed out to just fall into the comfort of routine. But if you just take that little bit of extra effort, it can create so much more variety and fresh experience in your daily life. And that in turn can keep your mind healthier when you're spending a lot of time working from home. Stay healthy guys and I'll see you all again soon.